That's so all. much I'm worse. Big, right? Time have arrived, councilors. I hereby call the city council for March 13th, 2017. Please stand and salute the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Councilors, please stand. Uh, remain standing. Um, our esteemed colleague, uh, Councilor Ann Beauregard's father passed away, Marcel Beauregard, uh, age 82, uh, was a retired federal employee. And our thoughts, Councilor, with you and your family. If we could please remember Mr. Beauregard for a moment of silence. May he rest in peace. Mr. Clerk, we're going to go on to agenda item number one. Yeah, the acceptance of the minutes of the February 27, 2017 City Council meeting. Accepted and placed on file. The appointment of Karen de Brizard of 31 Frost Street, Brockton, Commissioner of Women's Issues for a one year term ending March 2018. Referred to Finance Committee. Appointment of Ruth Moore, <coughs> Brockton Commissioner of Women's Issues, issues for a one year term ending March 2018. Also referred to Finance Committee. Appointment of Lisa Duquette. To the Brockton Commission on Women's Issues for your one year term ending March 2018. Referred to finance. Appointment of Anne Marie Nee <clears throat> to the Brockton Commission on Women's Issues for a two year term ending March 2019. That two councils referred to finance. Appointment of Janice LeBeau of uh, Brockton Commission on Women's Issues for a two year term ending March 2019. Referred to finance committee. Appointment of Leona Martin to the Brockton Commission on Women's Issues for a two year term ending 2019. Referred to finance. The appointment of Maria DePina Montero. Uh, Brockton Commission on Women's Issues for three-year term ending March 2020. That to refer to finance. Appointment of Nicole Gatling, Brockton Commission on Women's Issues for three-year term ending 2020. Also referred to finance committee councils. We have the petition of Jean Francois Bernadou, uh, auto repair for a motor vehicle repair mechanical license located at 74B Plain Street, Brockton. In clerk's office, October 17, 2016. Hearing is signed for March 13, 2017 at 8 p.m. And council, March 13, 2017. Fire department has no objections. Council, it's time having arrived. I uh, hereby declare the hearing open. If there's anyone here in favor, please come to the podium and state your name for the clerk. Is there anyone here? Sir, are you here for this agenda item? Yes. Please come up to the podium if you could. If, if you could give your name to the clerk, please. Jean Francois Bernardo. Good evening. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Do you have you. any statement for the council? Uh, no. No statements at all? No. Okay. Is there anyone else here in favor relative to this? Mr. Leonard, good evening. Yes, uh, Councillor. Um, Gary Leonard, uh, Campello Main Street's manager. I've had the pleasure of knowing Mr. Bernardo for quite a few years. In my previous life, I was the property manager for 74 Plain Street, where this business will be located. Uh, he's been working for somebody else on this property for years. I welcome the new entrepreneur in this area. He's uh, a stand-up human being. Uh, his business practices. If you could just take the mic. I'm sorry. Just pull it down a little bit. Some static. Thank you, sir. His principles of business is right up the alley of what we're looking for in Campello, and I hope the council um, gives him this license. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Anyone else here in favor? Anyone else here in favor? Third and final one here in favor. I hereby close that part of the, the hearing at this time. Anyone here in opposition relative to this matter? Anyone here in opposition? Third and final one here in opposition. That part of the hearing is, is closed as well. Now the matter comes before the council. Council, any questions for the petitioner? Council Farwell. Mr. President, I move uh, to refer this to the Public Safety Committee uh, for further review. Second. Pur purpose of that motion, if you could, for the record, please, Councilor. I'm sorry, could you repeat if that? You could just express to the people here and those watching the purpose of sending it to the public safety. What, what we do, sir, is we hold the public hearing and then we have you come before the Public Safety Committee very informally. There are five of us as counselors who serve. We go over the parking plan for the building. We go over other issues that are required for a garage repair license. We make sure that all the paperwork is in order. And then we send a recommendation back to the full council for a formal approval of the license. So we've started doing that so that we'll know exactly the hours of operation, how many vehicles you anticipate having on the property. And again, it's very informal. You don't need an attorney or anything. You'll just stand before us and answer any questions that the council may have. Okay. 
Councilor Fowell, thank you. Uh, and sir, just, uh, just as a follow-up on that, there is a requirement from this body that you submit a parking plan. You need not hire a professional engineer or a surveyor. You can do a hand sketch, but it needs to accurately describe and illustrate your parking plan for your place of business. That needs to be submitted to Mr. Zioli's office, the clerk's office, prior to Mr. Farwell and his capacity as chairman of public safety of calling the meeting. Do you understand that? Yes, I Thank do. Thank you, sir. We appreciate that. There's been a motion on the floor. It's been properly seconded. This matter is hereby referred to the public safety. All in favor? I'll oppose that motion carries. Refer to public safety agenda item number 10. Number 11, please. Report of the Thank Finance you, Committee for its meeting of March 6, 2017. Thanks. Accepted and placed on file. Report of the Public Safety Committee for its meeting of March 6, 2017. That too is accepted and placed on file. Report of the Real Estate Committee for its meeting of March 7, 2017. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the district director, the South Seaton Regional Dis School District, certifying that the amount to be apportioned to the city of Brockton for its share of capital and operating <coughs> costs of the Southeastern Regional School District for fiscal period beginning July 1, 2017 is $3,730,029. This assessment is to be paid in full equal quarterly installments due September 1, 2017, December 1, 2017. Uh, September 1, 2017, December 1, 2017, March 1, 2018, and June 1, 2018. Except for the place to file. We have a communication from the mayor reappointing Karen A. Fisher to the position of assistant city solicitor full-time for a three-year term, effective March 10, 2017. Except for the place to file. Communication from the chief of police requests an authorization to expend grant monies related to the Executive Office of Public Safety and Security, Fiscal 17, Senator Charles E. Shannon, Community Safety Initiative Grant, in the amount of $329,190.60. Accepted a place to file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Also accepted a place to file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. That too accepted a place to file. Communication from the mayor in accordance with Mass General Laws, Chapter 44, recommending that the City Council authorizes the appropriation of $462,200 from the Stabilization Fund to the planning personal services other than overtime, $34,500. DPW Water Enterprise Personal Service other than overtime, $80,500. DPW Water Enterprise Personal Services overtime, $3,000. DPW Engineering Personal Services other than overtime, $57,500. DPW Engineering Personal Services overtime, $3,000. Board of Health Personal Services other than overtime, $150,500. Board of Health Personal Services overtime, $2,000. Public Property Personal Services, other than overtime, $130,200. Public Property Personal Services, overtime, $1,000. To provide funding for the collective bargaining agreement for fiscal 14 through fiscal 19 with the Brockton Association of Engineers and Inspectors in accordance with the cost items memorandum of agreement. Stop to the place on file. There's a communication from the CFO with a conditional certification. Stop to the place on file. Mr. Going President, back to the, going back to item 19, communication from the city auditor certifying that the balance of the stabilization fund is $5,961,159.52 as of March 3rd, 2017. Accept the place to file. Communication from the mayor, in accordance with Mass General Laws, recommending the city council authorizes the appropriation of $59,700 from the stabilization fund to provide funding for the cost of items, fiscal 17 through fiscal 90, collective bargaining agreement with the department heads union in accordance with the memorandum of agreement. Accepted and placed on file. CFO relative to the same. Also accepted and placed on file. Conditional certification. Conditional. Communication from the mayor in accordance with Mass General Laws, Chapter 44, recommending the City Council authorize the appropriation of $80,000 stabilization fund to library personal services other than overtime, $79,000. Library overtime, $1,000. Provide funding for the proposed collective bargaining agreement, fiscal 17, fiscal 19, between the city and the library union. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the CFO relative to the same with a conditional certification. That also is accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the mayor in accordance with Mass General Laws, Chapter 44, recommending that the City Council adopt the ordinance to replace in its entirety the current Chapter 8 garbage and trash of the revised ordinances of the city. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO in accordance with that. Also accepted and placed on file. 
spotted that the mayor is authorized to grant an easement to the town of Kingston and across, over, under, along, and upon a portion of city-owned land situated on the westerly side of Lake Street in Kingston for purposes related to a culvert and for stormwater management. In Council, February 27, 2017, refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Council, the question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could kindly plead to read the roll. <coughs> if you could kindly plead, please read the roll. Thank you. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Ioneri. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Tenant Order is hereby adopted. Order that the City Council authorize the acceptance expenditures of the total grant in the amount of $150,000 from the Commonwealth of Mass Executive Office of Public Safety and Security, uh, Fiscal 2017, Mass Municipal Public Safety Staffing Grant, the City of Brockton Fire <coughs> Department, Fiscal 2017, Mass Municipal Public Safety Staffing Grant Fund. <coughs> These funds will be used for overtime necessary to maintain staffing levels. Not, no match is required. And Council, February 27, before the Committee on Finance, that report is favorable. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please read the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Ioneri. Yes. Farwell. Yes. <coughs> yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Yes. Order is hereby adopted. Order that the City Council authorize the acceptance of expenditures of the total grant in the amount of $14,039 from the Commonwealth of Mass Executive Office of Public Safety Fiscal 17 Student Awareness of Fire Education Grant, $10,643, and the Commonwealth of Mass Executive Office of Public Safety Fiscal 17 Senior Safe Grant, $3,396 to the City of Brockton Fire Department Fiscal 17 Student Awareness of Fire Safety Education and Senior Grant Fund. In Council, February 27, uh, 2017, referred to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please read the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Ioneri. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Order is hereby adopted, Councils. Order that the City Council authorize the Mayor to execute the administrative consent order issued by the Mass Department of Environmental Protection relating to Mont Ponset Pond. In Council February 27, 2017, refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please read the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. No. Cruz. Yes. Ioneri. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Nine in the affirmative, one in the negative. Order is hereby adopted. <clears throat> Order that the City Council authorize the acceptance and appropriation of the total grant in the amount of $12,784 from the U.S. Department of Justice Fiscal 16 Bulletproof Vest Program Grant to City of Brockton Police Department Fiscal 16 Bulletproof Vest Program Grant Fund. And Council, February 27, 2017, for the Committee on Finance, that report is favorable. Council, this question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please read the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Ioneri. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Or is if I adopt it. To invite Mr. Paul Angle, the new executive director of the Brockton Public Library, to introduce him and present ideas on the future of the library system to the City Council. In Council, February 27, 2017, before the Committee on Finance, that report is favorable. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please read the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Ioneri. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. And in the Resolve is hereby adopted. Resolve to invite Mr. Bill Carpenter, the Mayor of Brockton, and not, and not a designee to the City Council to inform us as to the current status of all governing boards, commissions, and committees. And Council, February 13, 2017. For the Committee on Finance, that report is favorable. Question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Ioneri. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Tenery. Resolve is hereby adopted. Resolved to invite the Executive Director of the Brockton Housing Authority, Thomas Tebow, to give the City Council an update on the condition of current properties in the city, with particular attention to those that have multi-purpose uses. For example, resident and office space that does not include the Housing Authority. 
and Council February 13, 2017. Refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Questions on adoption by roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please read the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Farlow. Yes. Lally. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Was obviously hereby adopted. Order that the City Council hereby declare the city owned parcel at 28 Frederick Douglas Way, formerly the site of Hotel Grayson, Assessor's Map 9091, Route 013, Plot 1, Frederick Douglas Way, formerly High Street, is surplus and available for disposition. In Council February 13, 2017, running for the Committee on Real Estate, that is favorable as amended in real estate. Councilor, the question is on the amendment by a hand. Councilor. Yes, um, I was wondering if we could possibly have the amendments read and um, even if it's not stepping too far out of bounds to have the chairman of the subcommittee explain kind of what the amendments were for and what the purposes were just to let Thank the council that's know. acceptable Thank you. Council Rodriguez you serve as chair yes sir uh, thank you mr. president um, basically the amendments that, that we provided for this but for these three items actually um, 36 37 and 38 we put on two stipulations and I ran those ideas by our, our yeah. counselor, and he basically yeah. feels that we have, it's within our rights to do what we did. So the stipulation would be, one, that the properties are to be sold, um, that has to be sold to entities that would generate taxes, meaning that we're not against the properties being sold to non-taxable entities, so as long as they will generate taxes for taxation purposes and the second um, stipulation is that, that the composition of the deciding body at the BRA will consist of BRA personnel and also include two counselors two. one the ward, the uh, ward counselor plus an at-large counselor to come together as a body to decide on the best use and the best purposes for these uh, for these two pro for these three properties. Mr. Chairman, how, how is the at large? This is four at large. How is that decided? Well, that's something that we can kind of decide amongst ourselves. Yes. Once we know that, uh, we okay. can kind of within within the four of us decide who goes based on availability in the sense. Okay. But at least one of us will go and become part of this uh, of this process, so that we are so that this body is actually represented on this on these uh, decision making, so that we can make. Uh, an informed decision and also inform our constituency is exactly as to what we're doing. Thank you, Council, Mr. Thank Chairman. I, I think it's a great idea, Councilors. I think it, it gives us some, some input. Uh, and, and the fact that there'll be two members of this body out of the 11 sitting there, that, that, that's big and that's huge. So those that sit on real estate, thank you for your efforts. Council Cruz. Uh, just a point of parliamentary procedure. I believe that Councilor Lodge appointment would be yours to make as uh, I believe any appointment of a councilor to a board or a commission is the president's to make. So. I believe that would be your appointment to do. Okay. Thank you. That's fine. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, so the question is, it comes before us now for this agenda item. After the, anybody have any other questions for the chair? I think he explained it pretty well. Uh, question is on the amendment by a hand, a hand. All in favor of the amendment, please raise your hand. All opposed. That amendment's going to carry. Now the question is on adoption as amended by a roll call vote. Uh, Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. He's, he's Mr. President, if we could, could we take them collectively? Since there were three properties with the same, uh, it was the same amendment. Same Second. amendment. We can, we can, um, we can. That's in the form of a motion. that's properly seconded uh, to take 36, 37, 38 collectively. All in favor of taking it collectively? All opposed? Uh, they, uh, they are going to be taken collectively. If we could read those, <coughs> Mr. Clerk. <coughs> Order that the City Council hereby declare the two city-owned parcels, 11/15 High Street, Assessor's Map 091, Route 047, Plot 12-1, and Map 091, Route 048, Plot 12, High Street, currently Frederick Douglass Way, as surplus and available for disposition. And Council February 13, 2017, refer to the Committee on Real Estate, and that is favorably as amended. <clears throat> and then we have that the City Council hereby declare the two city-owned parcels at 47 West Elm Street, Assessor's Map 091, Route 004, Plot 102, and Map 091, Route 005, Plot 103, West Elm Street, as surplus and available for disposition. In Council, February 13, 2017, Fair the Committee on Real Estate, and those are favorably as amended. Council, so 36, we already did the question on a member by, uh, by hand. I'm going to do 37, 37 collectively. The question is on the amendment. All in favor of the amendment, 
All opposed, the amendment carries. Now 36, 37, 38, collectively, the question is on adoption as amended uh, by a roll call vote. Mr. Clark, if you could kindly read the roll. Asaf. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Ten in the affirmative. Constance, those orders are uh, hereby adopted. Order that the mayor and our real estate custodian be authorized to accept on behalf of the city of Brockton a parcel of land consisting of 530 square feet, more or less, located at the corner of Main Street and Haywood Ave, owned by Cumberland Farms, Inc. of 1813 Main Street, Brockton, Mass. Said conveyance will correct an encroachment of the city sidewalk upon the property owned by Cumberland Farms, Inc. and Council Jan January 9, 2017, referred to the uh, Committee on Real Estate and Finance. A recommendation of those committees is favorable. Council, the question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please read the roll. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Farmer. Yes. Valley. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Ten in the affirmative. Order is hereby adopted. An audit submitting Chapter 8 is revised audiences of the City of Brockton. Be ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows. Chapter 8, Garbage and Trash, is hereby amended as follows. Section 8-3.1, definition. That's referred to Ordinance Committee. We have an appropriation of $462,200 from the Stabilization Fund to various departments to provide funding for the collective bargaining agreement between the City of Brockton Association of Engineers and Inspectors in accordance with the cost items of the memorandum agreement. It's referred to Finance Committee Councils. We have an appropriation of $59,700 from the Stabilization Fund to various departments. CFO has uh, certified this conditionally. That also is referred to Finance Committee Councils. The appropriation from the Stabilization Fund to Library Personal Services, other than overtime, 79000 Library Overtime, 1000 provide funding for the proposed collective bargaining agreement between the City and Library Union in accordance with the cost of the Memorandum of Agreement for Fiscal 17 and 19. And there is a certification <coughs> by the uh, CFO. Conditionally. It's conditional. It's referred to Finance Committee Councils. We have an appropriation of $329,198.60 from the Executive Office of Public Safety and Securities, Fiscal 17, Senator Charles E. Shannon, Community Safety Initiative Grant to the City of Brockton Department, Fiscal 17, Senator Charles E. Shannon Community Safety Initiative Grant Fund. These funds will be used to pay for police overtime, Father Bills, Mainspring, Coalition Work Express, Graffiti Removal Services, Oak Quality YMC Street uh, Outreach and Case Management Services, Physical Management Services, Parole Officers Expenses, Mentoring for Youth through Brockton, Christian Mentoring Initiative, Mass Youth Committed, <clears throat> committed to Winning, the match consists of different kinds, service only. Refer to Finance Committee. Order that the City Council approves the changes to the Water Commission rules and regulations set forth in February 23rd, 2017 letter for the Water Commission. Referred to the Finance Committee. Resolved that to invite Senator Michael Brady to respond to the City Council inquiries as to the status of the Ganley building. That's referred to the Finance Committee. <clears throat> Resolved, whereas on March 28, 2016, City Council order approving the Downtown Urban Renewal District was introduced to the City Council, whereas the order provided that the Mayor would submit the Urban Revitalization Plan to Department of Housing and Community Development for final approval, whereas the plan as proposed would require the taking of land and the relocation of businesses, whereas the City Council has received no further information on this plant since the passage of the requested order in 2016. Now therefore be a resolve that the city planner be invited to appear before the real estate committee of this council to report on the status of the urban revitalization plan, to discuss his efforts at community outreach on the plan, and to provide a report on those existing businesses that would be relocated under the plan. Referred to the real estate committee. Resolved to invite Mr. Joseph Cardinal of National Grid to the City Council to provide more information regarding the condition of 136 uh, manhole covers, 136 manhole covers located throughout the city, and if any further action will be taken to resolve this issue. Referred to Finance Committee. Resolved that the city solicitor or his designee 
and the collector treasurer appeared before a committee of the council to discuss the policies, procedures, and financial data relating to taking possessions of properties and be it further resolved that data relating to properties taken by tax title during the fiscal year 2016 and the fiscal year 2017 through the date of this resolve, including address assessed property value prior to tax title proceedings, amount of proceeds from sales of individual properties, name of persons or entities to whom property was sold and transferred, and expenses relating to taking possession of the properties to be made available to the City Council five days prior to any public discussion to allow for proper review. Councilors, let's refer to Finance Committee. Councilors, uh, before I ask for, uh, if anybody has any uh, moments of personal privilege, uh, of course, there's an <clears throat> impending severe snowstorm uh, going to be hitting us tomorrow. City Hall will be closed tomorrow. Also, councillors, I uh, just wanted to make it public to anybody that had an interest uh, relative to the Zoning Board of Appeals meeting uh, that was originally scheduled um, for Tuesday, March 14th, has been postponed uh, for one week until March 21st, 2017, due to the impending snowstorm. Location are to remain the same. The time is to remain the same. So it will be held uh, one week from tomorrow, which will be Tuesday, the 21st of March, and it will be held at 7 p.m. in the Arnone School Little Theater on Belmont Street. Councilors, those that had an interest about that. Uh, also, councilors, uh, I'd also like to thank all of you uh, and, and all the citizens of the city of Brockton that participated, and of course, Local 144 and the firefighters for the 76th anniversary <coughs> of the Strand. Uh, we we uh, we had a, a ceremony here at City Hall. Uh, it was it was always just so heartfelt and always so carried out professionally, and we don't forget those. And also, there was a, a book signing the night before at the Historic Society. Um, any any late files or any? Uh, Councilors, I'm going to, uh, the clerk has just made, uh, made me aware of some communications that hadn't been signed, uh, but for house cleaning, I'm going to late file them in my capacity, and I'll sign the communications. They're simple communications, councilors, so there will be a late file. I will read the, cl uh, the clerk. Uh, first of all, anybody object to the late file? Make a motion. So, so moved. Second. Motion made properly second to accept the late file. All in favor? All opposed? The motion carries. Thank you, Councilor Cruz. Mr. Clerk. Communication from the Chief of Fire requesting the acceptance of expenditures of a grant in the amount of $500 from Spectra Energy Foundation. These funds will be used to purchase a full gas meter to monitor air quality in emergency scenes. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the Mayor recommending the same. Also accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. That too is accepted and placed, accepted and placed on file. Appropriation of $500 from Spectra Energy Foundation grant to City of Procton Fire Department, uh, Spectra Energy Foundation grant fund. These funds will be used to purchase a full gas meter to monitor air quality at emergency scenes. Referred to finance? Or is that accepted in place? Refer to finance. Okay. Communication from the Emergency Management Director requesting the acceptance of expenditures of a grant award in the amount of $22,460 from Fiscal 16 Emergency Management Planning Grant. This funding will be used to purchase a utility task vehicle. Accepted in place, no file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted in place, no file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. That too is accepted in place, no file. We have an appropriation of $22,460 from Fiscal 16 <coughs> Emergency Management Planning Grant. The City of Brockton Emergency Management Agency Planning Grant Fund. These funds will be used to purchase a utility task vehicle, no match required. It's referred to Finance Committee. We have a communication from the Emergency Management Director requesting the acceptance of expenditures of a grant award in the amount of $2,000 from 2016 to 2017, hazardous materials emergency preparedness grant. This funding will be used to purchase miscellaneous office equipment and supplies. Accepted in place to file. Communication from the Mayor recommending the That too is accepted in place to file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Also accepted in place to file. We have an appropriation of $2,000 from 2016-2017 hazardous material emergency preparedness grant to city of Brockton emergency management 2016-2017 hazardous material emergency preparedness grant fund these funds will be used to purchase miscellaneous office equipment and supplies no match required for the finance committee councils and councils thank you for that late file 
approval. Council, is any uh, moments of personal privilege? Council Isaac. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, first, I'd like to welcome two of our Boy Scouts from Troop 143, uh, Brady Arruda and Jeff Leach, who've been uh, observing this very exciting meeting this evening. <laughs> so um, thank you for being here. They're here to actually um, earn their communication merit badges. Good job. And I'm going to announce something that I didn't think I'd get the chance to announce, but we, um, I'd like to have everybody save the date for Thursday, March 30th at 6.30 p.m. at the Raymond uh, Elementary School. We are planning the first community planning meeting for Walker's Playground. Oh, so I hope um, everybody can make it because we need the community input. Thank you, Council. And Scouts, thank you for joining us tonight. We really appreciate it. Hopefully you learned something. Thank you. Council Cruz. Uh, Mr. President, thank you. Just want to remind members of the Ordinance Committee the next Monday evening at 6 o'clock prior to the finance meeting, we have an Ordinance Committee uh, subcommittee meeting. Thank you, Council. next week. Thank you, Council. And uh, further, happy St. Patrick's Day to all of you and the rest of the city. That's right, Council. Friday is uh, St. Patrick's Day, and of course here at City Hall at 10 o'clock will be Irish Heritage Ceremony. Uh, they'll hoist the, uh, the flag and... Uh, some of the esteemed body will be singing some Irish songs, and of course, <laughs> Council Barnes will be dressed to the nines. So uh, we look forward to 10 o'clock. Council Yanary. Thank you, no uh, Mr. President. No Moment of personal privilege, if I might. <laughs> yes, sir. I just want to announce that I will be holding a Ward 3 meeting this coming Thursday evening, March 16th, 2017, at the Kennedy School. Again, this Thursday evening, March 16th, 2017, at the Kennedy School at 7 p.m. Uh, a lot of discussion in regards to a project that wants to find its way um, off of West Chestnut Street in a certain area, which is going to bring it right through to West Bridgewater, Mass. That's going to be the discussion. The investor will be present. The engineer will be present. And I hope that a lot of people from within the area are going to be present as well because we're not, um, we're not in love with this particular project. So, again, uh, it's this Thursday evening, March 16, 2017. And also, Officer Healy will be present with me to talk a little bit about, about Crime Watch. Thank you. Thank you, Councilor. Councilor, again. Oh, Councilor Lally. No, 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 by all means. Moment of personal privilege? Sure. Uh, I wanted to announce uh, my ward meeting as well. Oh, okay. um, Wednesday, March 29th at 7 p.m. at the Brookfield Elementary School. Thank you, Councilor. Councilors, uh, be safe tomorrow. It's, it's really going to be a dangerous day. Uh, the governor hasn't uh, called a state of emergency, but that could happen. Uh, again, if you have any elderly uh, neighbors, check on them. And if you have the ability to... Uh, to dig out uh, the fire hydrants. I know that's always important. Council Bonds. Mr. President, if I can just remind um, the folks at home too, uh, don't forget there's no parking. They will be ticketing and towing cars after 6 a.m. if they're on the street. So uh, please find a, a suitable place to park your car. We don't want anyone to incur any unnecessary bills. Thank you, Council. And Councilors, I, I, I also wanted to, I, I stated again, the zoning board has changed tom from tomorrow to next week. Uh, I also want to say if anybody watching or anyone here in attendance has any questions about that, please call the building department, 508-580-7150. Thank you. And I wish everybody uh, a good night and uh, have a safe day tomorrow. Meeting's adjourned. Good for you. Walk a playground. Seven. Finally. I good thought you were talking you. about